Welcome back boys and girls. And if you ask anybody what is the most popular 22 rifle in USA, somebody's gonna scream out Ruger 1022. Now this rifle has been around forever and for a very good reason. It's affordable, dependable, accurate, and very light. Any plain day could turn into a fun day in the woods. My buddy just bought this rifle about a week ago, never fired it, and he wanted me to do a review on it. So I thank you buddy. Alright, let's get on with that because it's going to be a busy fun day for me. First, I'm going to do a review on the gun, clean the gun, mount the scope, and hit the range, break in the barrel, and we're going to have some fun. Alright, let's see what's in the box. Comes with a lock. And this is trigger lock. Comes with a scope base. And a manual. And a ruler sticker. Okay, like always, let's talk about the price. MSRP on this is 309. He paid. 279 for it and obviously this is semi-automatic and it's got a very plain wood stock on it nothing fancy and the overall length is 37 inches long and the barrel is 18 and a half inches long and it has a twist rate of 1 to 16 and as for the sight in the front we have gold bead and the rear we have adjustable sight that you can also fold it and on the top of the receiver, it comes drain tap for the scope. And that's magazine release. You have to push it forward with your thumb and pull it down with your index finger and it'll come off easy. This is lowering magazine that takes 10 rounds. And there's a safety right there. Right now the trigger is locked. I'm gonna unlock that. And let's check the trigger, the weight. And this is also dry fire safe. Now detail wise, I think everything is great except for two things that I don't like. Bus stop is plastic. I think they could have gave it a metal. So I don't like the plastic. And also in the front that holds the barrel, that's also plastic. And it's got a screw that's sticking out and that could scratch somebody up. So it's a small detail, but that I'm not too happy about. One correction, this is not a trigger lock, but that's actually a trigger lock key for that cheap trigger lock right there. Honestly, this cheap plastic trigger lock, I think that's just a waste of money. They could have saved money on this and gave me a metal butt plate. It's empty. Now, one thing I noticed is that this won't stay open. Okay, I figured it out. It took me about a minute or so. You could actually have the chamber open with a magazine in there by pulling the charging handle, push that little button in front of the safety at the lower part, and it will keep it open. And to close it, you gotta put the charging handle back again and push the upper part of that level and then it will release. Little confusing, took me about a minute, but that's how it's done. Let's check the trigger. Okay, it's got a small pre-travel, but pretty clean. And it's a little bit on a heavier side. I'll say about seven to seven and a half pounds. Well, let's check it. It's seven pounds and eight point seven ounces, so it's about seven and a half pounds. Let's weigh the rifle with the magazine in it. It's four pounds and thirteen point nine ounces, so it's really light. And as for the scope, I recommend that you should just get a rifle scope instead of a rimfire scope because the price is about the same. They're probably like less than, less than ten dollar difference. And this is Vortex Crossfire Two, power up to seven, I believe. Yep, and it comes with the BDC crosshair, and that's gonna help a lot. And the reason I recommend it to go with a rifle scope is that later if you decide to just go with the open sight on this, 
and put this scope on his new hunting rifle. That's always an option. And he paid $129 for this. And as for the scope ring, I recommend he should, he should go with a see-through so he could have the scope mounted on top. He could also use the open side. So if he's hunting for a small game like a rabbit or scroll, you want to be able to get on it real quick and pull the trigger. All right, let's mount the scope and hit the range. Okay, the scope ring looks great, except the screws they provided is a junk. That thing is stripping already, so I'm not gonna even take a chance. But I'm actually gonna use the screw that was provided by the Ruger for the scope mount. And that looks really nice and sturdy, so that shouldn't have any problem. Has a lot deeper cut, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we got plenty of clearance for the open sight, so this should be fine. Okay, I'm done mounting my scope. Only problem is, that chamber will not close all the way, and this and it's most likely that screw is too long. Actually, this ring, the bottom's too thin, the screw is sticking out, so it's getting jammed. So I'm just gonna take this off and use the scope base that they provided. And I actually have one of the extra rim fire scope ring, so I'm gonna just use this and get it over with. Okay, I got the scope base on, and it's moving fine, no problem. Now, I just have to put a scope on. It's taking me about three times longer than what it usually takes me. Okay, I'm sure you guys already know this, but on 22 ring fire scope base, you cannot use regular rifle scope ring because the base is much smaller. Okay, finally it's done. And the scope ring there is actually a pretty decent one that I have for a while now. I don't use it on my 22 anymore, so I'm okay giving it away. And there was a little bit of nerve wracking because it's not my gun. I didn't want to strip anything. I think this is the best way to go. Okay, first I was shooting a triple ammunition. This has pretty good group. Shooting a blazer last five shots. This thing gave a really tight group. All in bullseye at 25 yards. Okay, this is at 25 yards. And that's the last five shots. So that's really crazy tight. So I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna stretch out to 50 yards. Okay, I have a target out at 50 yards. And I actually put another red bullseye on top of the old target. Honestly, I don't really care for the action with this. It's very tedious. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, bullseye. Wow, really tight. Honestly, my first five shots, when I took my time to shoot it, it was really tight, and then, I, and then once I started shooting fast, it started kind of widening up, but it's still very, very accurate. Okay, 50 yards. Okay, that's the 10 shot group. So that was the first five shot, which is great, and then it just kind of spread. Okay, this is 25 yards, and that's at 50 yards. So honestly, this is very accurate rifle. Okay, I'm gonna try 10 rapid fire with the cheap ammo and see how this functions. I really don't like the action release. Oh good. Now one thing I noticed is the trigger is heavy, so rapid fire is not easy as I was hoping to be. Man, it's too hot today. Okay, you know what's coming next, right? We're gonna go for the clay pigeon at about 120 yards. And with a multiplex scope, this should be a lot easier as long as I know where to hold. Okay, between three and four, there's a six clay pigeon. I'm gonna aim for the left three with 10 shots, and hopefully I could get it within 10 shots. Then I'd be happy. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the second dot from the center. Bingo! Wow! All right, left upper. It's broke. One below. Wow! Three for three. It was perfect guessing. Okay, I'm gonna try for the broken one again on the top, left. Yup! There he goes, four for four. Okay, that's it, 25. I wonder if I could shoot the target faster or load the magazine faster. We're gonna go for a little steel target at 25 yards and see how she does.
That's it. It really it quick. Like you were having fun. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. That was a blast. This thing shot so well. No malfunction. On the target every time. Okay, 25 yards. I went with a cheaper ammunition. But at 50, I'm gonna go with a blazer. Okay, I got the target up to 50 yards. And we're gonna try this again. Wow, that's 100%. <laughs> now that's some shooting, huh? That was good. Well done. Thank you. Now that was really crazy shooting. 100% every single time. Ding, 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 ding. Well, you seen it. This is a great carbon. I've never had so much fun shooting 22 in the past. And I kind of regret I don't have one. Maybe I should really look into getting one. And spending the extra money for the good scope, I think really helped a lot. And you see me knock those steel targets out. This is plenty fast enough for any kind of small game. And I was really surprised with this 25 round magazine. This was really easy to fit, functioned really well, compared to the one that I have for my rifle, this 30 round magazine. But after about 20 rounds, this gets really stiff. I want to congratulate my buddy for getting this beautiful rifle. And I can tell you, man, he's gonna have some fun. Now, there are a few minor things I didn't like about, which I shared with you on my video. But other than that, there was a reason why this was so popular. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have and your life with what you got, but mostly when you get bored, hit the woods. See ya.